<laughs> um, you said something, I mean, it was very interesting, your description of what it's like from the perspective of a, an elected official, a legislator, but you said something which I'm not quite sure I understood and I really want to clarify because I think it's something we need to discuss today, which is about legitimacy. And if I understood right, Eli, you were saying, well, what's the legitimacy of various actors who are trying to engage in decision making, who are trying to participate? And that's a huge question because it's something I come across all the time when we're trying to get information for civil society to participate, be it at the EU or the national level. And we even see in refusals to give information um, a questioning of the legitimacy of the actors wanting to engage in the process to engage in the debate. How do we define that? Because that's one of the obstacles we're facing uh, in, in order to be able to advance with participation. Thanks. Well, what I was trying to refer to was in relation to where we, where we come from in Ireland, we get a huge amount of, for instance, online traction and online consultation and what's regarded as consultation and what's not consultation. And it's trying to filter out, as some of the speakers said earlier on, what is a bot online and what's actual online communication from a citizen and a practical and actual citizen engagement. And where I found the best example of this was in Estonia uh, when I was there recently. And they have a very good IT system as to identify that somebody is an actual, uh, as you say, legitimate actor versus somebody who's trying probably legitimately in their own way, but illegitimately in the sense of what government and the public are trying to do, clog up the system. So there is a, a difference between legitimate actors engaging in uh, consultation and engagement with public representatives and government and those who for their own reasons are going to try and make sure that, uh, you know, if they use multiple identities or whatever, uh, which we've seen umpteen times in my own office in the department and everything else and all of my colleagues across government would say the same thing. What is the actual actor here, the person with the real concern and the person who's trying to obviously skew an argument one way or another?